Sego, Sewa Guego, Galana Uwe, Niyang Yats. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Karen Hill, and I wanted to share with you just my final thoughts on our research project entitled Judas Place and Indigenous Evaluation. This picture represents the coming faces as they come from the spirit world and they come through the woman and they come to the earth. And it is our original instructions as Ongwahoi Indigenous people, that we are to take care of the coming faces and that our job is to take care of the earth so that those coming faces for the next seven generations have a healthy, happy, whole life. It is those original instructions that we discovered was the underpinning of all of our work as practitioners both in how we worked with each other, whether we were Western trained or whether we were um, traditionally trained in indigenous medicines and how we connected with the patients that came there. And that is what our people saw. That is what they described over and over again was how as indigenous people and practitioners that they witnessed through us how we embraced our original instructions, how we utilized our own uh, Western knowledge and our traditional knowledge and brought that together to provide care for them and their families as they came to Jitta's place for uh, support and primary care. And ultimately what that translated to is our patients really felt that they were able to develop the tools and the skills they called them bundles that would enable them to take full responsibility for their health and self-determine their lives in moving forwards in a healthy and whole way. Given the disparities in health status for Indigenous people in this country, this is really the key finding that if our primary care systems are going to work to truly serve Indigenous people in this country in a positive way. We need to find the ways to bring Indigenous practitioners into our clinics to provide the care from an Indigenous perspective, utilizing Indigenous ways and methods of healing and communicating and connecting with the people that come through. And these are all principles that are espoused within the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People, uh, as and re-communicated in the Truth and Reconciliation Commission and even years ago in the Royal Commission on Aboriginal People. Now, uh, thank you for um, learning more about our people and this evaluation.